All right, everyone, welcome back to the Columbus Blue Jackets GM mode. We are here to finish off year five, but first I would like to say thank you all for 400 subscribers. Quite a milestone. Um, like I said in my video that I made about it, it's not that many in perspective to um, other YouTubers, but to me, I never thought I would even hit anywhere close to 400. So in perspective, it's not that much, but... To me, it is. So, thank you guys for 400 subscribers, and there will be something special for that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to... I've probably mentioned it in the past, but um, I don't want to... If, if you forget, I'm not going to uh, say it, so it's going to be a surprise. It'll um, most likely be in the next episode for the playoffs. We'll have a surprise there, so... Um, yeah, so we're going to finish off this regular season, and then I'll probably record the playoffs after this. Um... So yeah, uh, let's get into it here. Let me just look at some shit. I just don't want to spoil something unless it's already been... Spo I've, I probably... I have mentioned it in the past, but I just don't want to... If you forget, I just don't want to say it again. I want to make it a surprise, but then again, you guys can just honestly go back a few videos ago and find it. Maybe even the last video, but it's been about five days since that video went up, so maybe you forget. That's good if you did. Can't really be surprised now, but I'll, I'm trying my best, all right, <laughs> to make what I want to do a surprise. But anyway, uh, let's figure uh, figure out what we're gonna do here. Uh, we just gotta finish the regular season, look at the stats, see who's in the playoffs, blah blah blah. All right, so we did change the power play and no, the penalty kill, right? Or well, yeah, we changed the penalty kill last time, but. Um, it didn't seem to matter. We were still like we dropped even further down. We're in dead last now, right? So um, this is just one of those years the penalty kills just not that good. So let's finish off this entire season. <sighs> All right, so we're 39, 19, and seven, but really it's the playoffs that matter for this Columbus Blue Jackets team. Regular season is not the biggest thing in the world. We just got to make the playoffs, right? I mean, I've seen a bunch of GM modes where people barely make the playoffs, but their team's a playoff team, and they they go all the way. So that's what's going to be important. On a bit of we get when we win games, we're getting goals though, so that's good. We're getting like five or six goals, even four goals is a lot. Realistically, it's quite a bit. If you're scoring four goals. On an NHL team, you know, you're doing you're doing something right because NHL teams are good, except for Buffalo. Buffalo's not that good. Neither is Edmonton this year. So, I guess Buffalo and Edmonton are the two main exceptions that that rule. If you're scoring four goals against like Chicago, for example, or like St. Louis, even Pittsburgh, depending how they play, really, because sometimes they shit the bed. But um, if you can score four goals against high end teams like that, Anaheim included, then um, you're doing something right. You should be able to win a hockey game if you can hold their big studs off, right? So, uh, 45, 21, and 8. Looking pretty good. Drouin has not scored in a while because I still see him at 48 goals. So, I want him to get to 50. I really do. So, can, can that please happen? <laughs> um, I was checking the stats at the end of the last video because, um... Uh, the league stats, not just our team. And I think at the time, Connor McDavid was three points ahead of Patrick Kane. I think it was Patrick Kane. He was three points ahead of him or someone else, I don't remember, of uh, for the Art Ross for most points. So he, he was leading in points before we start simming here. So we'll have to see how it turns out, right? But um, I want Drew to get to that fucking 50 goal mark. There he goes. Okay, it's a loss, but he's got 49. 49 goals. All right. Can he hit 50? How many games does he got left? He might hit it this game. I hit the stop sim, so we'll see. If he hits it this game, I'll just keep going. He might hit it this game. No, he didn't. So he has four games to get a goal. Will he get a goal in four games? Let's see. Oh, shit. Scouting sign popped up. Uh, all right. So where were we going? We were scouting. There's first round there. Top 10. Top 10. Go there for a month. Scout there some more. Uh, he didn't get a goal in that game. So he's got three games to get a goal. He's got to get a goal. 
I'm going to go into that last game if he if he doesn't get it. Oh, there we go. Okay, he got it. 50 goals. I was going to say, if he didn't score to the last game, I was going to go into the game and um, watch the sim and see if he could get it. But uh, he, he hit the 50-goal mark for the first time in his career, so that's pretty good. Uh, two consecutive losses there. Can we end the season on a high note? Can we get a win? Please. Please. Can we get a win to end off the season? No, we, we can't. We lose the game. So we've lost three in a row. And five of our last six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, five of our last six games have been lost going into the playoffs. That's not good. 48, 23, and 11. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good record. And our first round opponent is the Boston Bruins. I think that would be the first time we're seeing them in this GM mode. Um, so they're a pretty good team. All right. So let's check the team standings. Oh wow, we were one point off, even with, even with that even with that horrible ending, we were only one point off from our third or well two I should say, two points off from our third consecutive uh, Presidents Trophy. So we didn't get it this year, but that's all right. Uh, we won the Presidents Trophy the past two years and it hasn't treated us well in the playoffs. So maybe this is a change up, right? So. Nashville, Columbus, Chicago, Washington, Toronto, Anaheim, Montreal, Philadelphia. All right. Uh, somehow these teams made in. The Western Conference must be pretty weak. Yeah, some of the Western teams were like way down at the bottom. Detroit was the lowest Eastern team. And then the next best is at 24, so... Yeah, okay, so the West was had it pretty brutal this year. All right, so goals four. All right, we lead there. Didn't hit 300, almost. I think my record is, at least for GM modes on my channel, it's like 315 or something like that, and that's the Penguin GM mode. So that was, we, we got close to a record, but a little far away. So close, yet so far away. Uh, third in goals against, that's good. Really, it's like it's pretty good. It's a really good rating right there. Our goals for per game is insane. Our goals against per game, you know, it's it's pretty good, right? So power play percentage going into the playoffs, we're second in the NHL, um, only behind the fucking New York Islanders. Fuck them. They beat us out last year, right? Uh, penalty kill, it didn't improve at all. Actually, I think it got worse. It got worse in the thirtieth position. It was, it was at 30, uh, 30th overall last time, and I think the percentage still went down. So our penalty kill sucks this year. We just can't fix it. So that's, that's really depressing. Um, the first penalty kill is, holy shit, 87%. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, last 10, where were we? I don't think it was very good. Well, we were 4, 3, and 3. That's respectable. Very respectable. All right. Uh, let's check out the AHL since I know this has only been like eight and a half minutes. So might as well check out them. Where do we rank in the American Hockey League? I remember we used to tear up in the American Hockey League. Now we're near the bottom. We were tearing up early on. It's all right, though. 52 wins. All right. That was the record. Yeah, AHL team had a rough year. All right, so we'll check out the player stats of the AHL first. Got to go with them first, the boys, AHL. I'm not sure how many rounds of the playoffs I'm going to record here. Maybe only one after this, just so I can get everything set up for the special, for uh, my special video for this. It'll be... Well, I guess you can consider it, it may or may not be the rest of the GM mode will have this feature, so we'll see. We will see. It may or may not. Maybe just playoff time, I'll do it. But we, we, we will see. We will see. Um, Atkinson, 30 goal score. All right. Dano, um, he's had pretty consistent AHL years. I mean, he's, he's done well, all right? So uh, hopefully he gets a jump this year. Uh, rest of my guys. All right. 
Uh, Craig Anderson, he's going to retire. He's done. He was probably one of the main reasons we didn't do well. That's all right. NHL stats now. A water bottle won't open. There we go. <clears throat> All right. So, um, point leaders: Connor McDavid, a hundred points exactly. Uh, Johansson and Druan, eighty points exactly. Uh, Druan, fifty goals. Uh, Connor McDavid, a hundred points in his second year in the NHL. Uh, that's that's really good. That's pretty good. He's a career point per game player right now. So that's really good. Ryan Johansson, you know, he's improved um, since last year. He's got four. He's a 40-goal scorer. That's good. On the second line, too. So it's a good little play right there. Um, Drew Ann, uh, you know, he he hasn't got back to that 90-point plateau, but um, he scored 50 goals, right? That's a career high after two consecutive years, 35. I need him for goals, so that goal production is really good. I need him for goals, don't need him necessarily for assists. Ekman Larson, 73 points. That's a that's a career high on our team, at least. Uh, this was his last year with Phoenix, or Arizona, whatever you want to call them. Um, and then he only scored seven with the first year with us, and so he's getting better and better, right? Jordan Eberle, 70 points. That's quite a bounce-back year. He only had 19 goals, though. Only 19 goals. He had 20 last year, but he, he had more assists, so at least he was... At least he was a good playmaker out there, right? Uh, he's still a good little player to keep. He's only got one year left. I don't know. He must. He has to have a really good playoffs in order to stay on this team. I, I miss those 30-goal seasons from Jordan Eberle. 65 points for Toffoli. That's his average. That's good. Not a 30-goal scorer, but then again, he didn't hit 30 here either. So uh, still still fine with that. Toffoli, you're doing all right. You're doing fine, buddy. Uh, Monaghan, 22 goals. His consistent 20-goal scorer. Um, his point production went down. That's all right. I understand. Did McDavid probably took some of the points from him, right? Johnson, 51. Yeah, that's, that's pretty average, right? He's dropped down to four star. Might be time to trade Jack Johnson this offseason. Uh, Aaron Ekblad, 51 points. That's a career high. Good year for him. One year left. He's going to want a lot as well. So might be good to um, trade Eberle. Unless he has a good playoffs, he needs he might need to be traded because his his cap will be high. But then again, Murray and now Murray signed Ekblad's cap will turn pretty big, and then Johnson we could probably get someone that's cheaper than five million to play on that second defensive line. It might only be like an eighty-five overall, but it'll it'll be manageable, right? We'll figure that out in the offseason, whatever, right? So forty-four points for Murray, pretty consistent. Consistent plus player, too. I like that. Wenberg, another good year for him. Establishing career highs. All right. Felino, you know what? I mean, he's not playing uh, top lines anymore. He's on the third line, still playing well. Kirby Reichel, 21 goals on the third line. 21 goals. Wow. This was his first year on the fourth line. Then he moved up to the third line there. Then he's still on the third line. Um, had one more point, that's it, but 21 goals. 20 goal score on the third line. I think that's the first time I've ever seen that. That's the first time it's happened to me. Uh, Boone Jenner, 19 points on the fourth line, would that be? Yeah, so, yeah, he had a good year. Bjorkstrand, 16 points, first NHL season. Raffle, 14 points. Uh, big improvement in the plus-minus category. Erickson and, um, Savard, you know, typical point totals for them. All right. So, if you go to our goal production, we had a 50-goal scorer, a 40-goal scorer, almost a 30-goal scorer, and three, four, five, five 20-goal scorers. We'll just count them as 20 goals, right? So, that's pretty good. Our third liner scored more than a first liner. Um, that's kind of weird. But um, a defenseman had 19 goals for us and 14, so that's pretty good. And 13, even. 10 goals is even good, too. So goaltending wise, uh, 40, 18, and 4. 68 games played, same as last year. Um, numbers a little bit worse for Bobrovsky, yep, but you know, we had a rough stretch there. We still came out with a good year, right? Uh, Lapayanin, he played 16 games his first NHL year. Uh, 8 and 5. 2.56 goals against, 908 save percentage. That's respectable, that's good for him. 
I'm not sure if we're going to have to trade him because he might jump up to a starter. That will be good, though. We'll get a lot of value for him. So that's good. Um, now, this is another one of those years I want to check to see if the leading scorer on the team makes sense. Um, I think I did this last year. I don't remember, but I checked every team to see who the leading scorer was and uh, we just to see if it makes sense at this point in time, right? So, all right, this makes sense. I'm just quickly, I'm not going through the whole team, just looking at the top guy. Uh, I can't really be a judge for Arizona. Dougie Hamilton, no, uh, I don't. It's just to get a feel for realism, right? Reinhardt, all right, Johnny Gaudreau, Brandon Dubinsky still playing. Uh, Eric Stahl, yep, all right. Uh, Patrick Kane, he had 100 points. 100 points for Patrick Kane. So who's going to get the Art Ross, I wonder? That'll that'll be interesting to see. Uh, Colorado, 83 points. Nathan McKinnon, all right, yep. Matt Duchesne's up there. Uh, Connor McDavid, I think they're going to give it to Kane because he had more goals. I really do. That's That sucks. Um, but anyway, Tyler Sagan, 87, yep. Makes sense to me. Tatar, yeah, he's jumping up there. That's good. Uh, Nugent Hopkins, 99 points. Uh, Hall, 90 points. Jeez. Uh, that team barely made the playoffs. Uh, Barkov, 91. All right, Barkov. You know, they have Nyquist? They have Gustav Nyquist. Huh. Uh, Barkov, Huberto. Yeah, those guys. That's that's the players. In oh, shit. That would be the type of players that should uh, have the point totals that they do. Come on. Come on. Load again. Oh, my God. We'll look at the playoff matchups after this. And then that's pretty much it. There's nothing else I need to look at, right? Uh, Kopitar. Parise, yep. Uh, Patrick Reddy. Zetterberg, he's not in Nashville, so I'm not even going to count that. Uh, Zajac, right. Tavares. Zuccarello. Turris, Turris or Bobby Ryan. Giroux, yeah, that makes sense to me. Um, Malkin or Crosby, yep, yeah, that makes sense. Crosby had a bounce back year. A lot of you guys were saying take a look at Crosby, so I am right now. 124 points. 124 points, and then went downhill from there for Pittsburgh. But, um, yeah, there you go. There's Crosby. Um, next next team, uh, Goldobin. 80 overall led their team in points. Goldobin. Interesting. Probably because his, uh, his defensive category is really bad. All right. So I would say Kutcher, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, back is Stinoshi, uh, Stamkos. Everyone, geez, a bunch of people were close to McDavid and Stamkos in points, weren't they? Uh, Nylander. That's probably the highest I've ever seen Nylander, I'm going to be honest. Um, Shinkarik, yeah, Horvat. All right. Yeah. <laughs> 77 overall. Daniel Sadiz is 77. Jeez. Uh, Alexander Ovechkin. And Brian Little. For check, I don't count that. All right, I'm just, I'm just seeing here. So... It looks like in this screen they're giving it to Patrick Kane. That's what I said because he had more goals. Kind of dumb, but, you know, that's how it goes, right? So assists, still Connor McDavid. Goals, Steven Stamkos. Only three people hit 50. Malkin, Stamkos, Duran. Uh, defenseman, point leader Dougie Hamilton, then Ekman Larson. All right. And we'll go over this a bit more in the offseason, right? And then uh, 40 wins, Bobrovsky. Just scroll down here. I'll go over this, like I said, a lot more later on. Right now, I just don't want this video to be too, too long because I want to record round one of the playoffs against the Bruins. Uh, Marissa Lincoln. There he is. Played 37 games. Not the best numbers. All right. So, with that said, let's take a look at the playoff matchups, and then I'll be done. Got nothing else to say. So we got Anaheim and Colorado, San Jose and Edmonton, Nashville and Dallas, Chicago, Minnesota, Toronto, New York Islanders, uh, Montreal, Ottawa, Columbus and Boston, and Washington, Philadelphia. So there you guys go. Um, I don't think there's anything I need to show you. Anything else? Nope. I don't think. Progress reports. Ah, who cares about that right now? 
Um, anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the playoff episode, like round one against the Bruins, which I'm going to record right now. So, see you guys later.